guys. Hi, it's Daryl from the Longboard Hive. Today I'm going to do a very quick and easy video on how to create a post on Hive. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because recently I've been onboarding a whole bunch of people, getting all kinds of new members, and a lot of people have been asking me just a few basic questions because obviously when learning a new platform, there are a few things that are new and going to be not so intuitive when you're used to just things like Facebook and Instagram. Um, hopefully we're going to see some improvements because keep in mind this is still a fairly new project, only a year old. Um, the websites are new and they're always constantly updating and improving. So when the updates come, I'll make sure I do an update for that to show you how to do it then. But in the meantime, this is how to currently create a post on Hive. I was going to call it Hive in 5, but I'm not 100% confident I can do this in 5 minutes. But let's see if I do it in 5 minutes. We're already a minute in. So there's a couple ways to create a post on Hive. And right now, because there's not too many skateboarders on here, we're concentrating all of our posts on the Skate Hive. So if you find the Skate Hive in the communities list, you can do a search for it or find it in all communities. You'll find this page here. Uh, you can then click write a post right here and this will automatically post it onto the Skate Hive, which is where we're doing most of our posts. You'll probably find the Longboard Hive as a community on here too. You're welcome to share it to there as well. I'll give both your posts likes. Um, but for now, until we grow the Longboard side of things, I'm just posting all my stuff to the Skate Hive. Plus, they've got some pretty big curators and big people with lots of money giving big likes out on the Skate Hive. So that's why I'm posting it there. So you create a new post. You're going to see it's writing a new post in the Skate Hive. If you were doing it just using this little pen or pencil up here, it would then say to my blog, but then you can just choose in the drop down menu to post in Skate Hive. You can also hit this handy button up here that says to also post it in your blog, which means there'll be a lot more visibility because it's not going to just appear in the community. It's going to appear on the general feed where everybody sees things. And if you're kind of going with the theme of things or if like, well, there's a couple ways to think about this. Um, not everybody wants their main page to have all the different subjects they're in. Maybe they're keeping it just about photography and then in the communities, they're posting all their longboard stuff because they figure their main audience doesn't want to see skateboard things, but they want to just see your photography. So you can do that to kind of keep things separate or just post it everywhere and hope to get as many likes as possible because you're in here for the crypto. That's why I started, but hey, I stuck for the community and the awesome people here. Anyways, you got to write your little title here. Um, you can do a couple things like just simply post a YouTube link here and you will get the preview or the cover photo of the um, uh, YouTube video as your main photo or you can take and just simply put a picture at the top and that will then allow you to um, see that as the main page. Let's just use Sigmat Wops uh, or Mayor Donkey, Donkoy uh, we'll use his poster as the cover photo. So that would be what it would look like. You can see it in the preview there, which kind of gives you a good rough preview of what it's going to look like when you post it. And then your YouTube video will appear below. Uh, if you understand Markdown, there is ways to make it so that this picture is a link and you can click on it and it will take you to this video. Um, I was having trouble figuring out how to do that, so I'm not going to do that here for you because I'm just a very basic guy. So what you would do is, excuse me as I'm reaching around the camera stand to write on my keyboard, is write, your, write something about the post, preferably all one giant thing with no spaces because that's how we write, right? I'm just using an example. Blah, blah, blah. There's some words. So you add short description. It's good. It's a good post. You put in your topics and for this topics are really important because if you don't choose the right topics a people might get pissed off because you're posting in someone's feed about dogs and you're posting cat pictures no one's gonna like that but there's something that's really important with this so one of the things i would do is you know we're going to describe exactly what we're doing we're posting about a documentary 
That's uh, not how you spell documentary at all. Um, dogs. We'll use dogs. So anybody that searched for the topic of dogs is going to see this post. Now, one thing that's very important about this is because it's not controlled with algorithms and data mining where they know exactly what you're thinking and what you're planning to post about and they can figure out what's in your post, this doesn't mine any of your data. So you got to tell it this is a blog. This is a video. This is about longboarding. And of course, include our lovely friends, Skate Hive, though they will see it because you're posting it in the Skate Hive post, but it will also now show up in the topics of Skate Hive. Um, I suggest using all 10 topics to get as much exposure as possible, really important. Um, and that will really just affect how many people see your post, who's going to support it, and a bunch of other things. The other nice thing is, well, I guess we'll just continue with what we're doing here. So um, after that, you can then choose, you know, if you didn't write this post and you're just posting it to your page, you can name someone else who is the publisher or if there's, you know, another member or something like that, you can tag them there. Uh, the rewards here, you can choose if you want it to receive as 100% as Hive Power, which is your voting power. I recommend this because currently Hive Power is really important. It's going to make your vote worth more, make more people pay attention to you, allow you to do more stuff on the platform, as well as uh, Hive is currently going up in the price. So this is where you're going to see more of the gains, more of the profits. Whereas if you do this other option, the Hived Back Dollars uh, and 50% Hive Power, those high back dollars are supposed to stay around a dollar, though they do fluctuate a little bit. But generally, if you end up getting high back dollars, you're going to want to sell them into Hive if Hive is going up, because that's where you're going to see more profits. Where the high back dollars will stay always around a dollar, though it has fluctuated sometimes up to like, well, it just fluctuated up to three dollars. So that's not supposed to happen. It's a little bit broken. It's not the perfect system, but that's that. Um, you can also give out your rewards, burn them, donate them to the Hive Fund, all kinds of things. That's a little more complicated. For, for now, I just recommend using 100% Hive Power and saving that Hive Power to do as much as you can on this post and earn as much as you can on your likes. You can also add beneficiaries. So these are people that will reward, uh, receive part of your reward. A lot of people donate 5% to Peaked because you know it costs money to run a website and we're grateful for the work they're doing. You can also add, like say if someone helped you with the project, you can say 50% of it goes to them. I gave Mayor Donkoy 50% of one of my posts where I was posting about how uh, I wanted to help him out. So once you're done that, here's your cover image. This is what uh, the picture is that I posted up here. You can then save it to drafts and do it later. Schedule the post to post in a specific time. Uh, I think, oh yeah, I'm missing a title. So this is what that would look like. So you can select a date, select the specific time. This is going to be in your current time zone, of course. And then hit schedule and it will post that later at that date. Or if you want to post immediately, just hit the publish button or the rocket ship. And bam you will have created a post and I'll show you my most recent one here which I'll also post to my own page real quickly and this is the post I made earlier including a whole bunch of things I wrote um, things like this to do stuff like this is you put a few um, pound signs in front of it or the dollar number sign and a space and then that will make those words bigger like titles uh, a little trick I learned along the way another cool thing you can do is you can create templates so this will allow you to make more posts much easier and once it loads here do 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 you can go to edit these posts and 
I just put in like all my links and stuff that I put in the bottom. I put a few of the topics in automatically. And then when I write a post, I just use this and simply add in the new title, add the YouTube video and start writing about what I wanted to write. And it's almost ready to go right away. It makes it nice and easy. And that is how to write a post. Wow, 10 minutes. I don't think this is Hive in five. I tried. Once, of course, you, uh, your post has been posted for seven days, it's done receiving rewards and it will cash out, in which case you will go to the wallet page and you'll see the rewards here as a pending rewards. You hit claim and you're going to see this hive power, which is why the HP behind it is, as opposed to liquid hive, which means you can sell this at any point on an exchange for money. Um, you hit claim and now it appears in my hive power. And I might have to refresh the page for that to show up. And that means my vote is now worth a little bit more which currently uh, is about $1.22. Nice. So yeah, that's how to create a post, how to use the topics to your best advantage as possible. And uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it all. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will try to create more videos based on anything else you need tips for or anything you get stuck on. Um, there's also another video that shows you how to sign up, but you know, if you have any other ideas what uh, you would like to see tips for, just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you on the Hive. Uh, also, don't forget that I'm doing a $50 giveaway. Uh, if you create a post on, on Skate Hive, anything skateboard related, you're entered in a draw for $50 worth of Hive. That's, in, that's a Canadian measurement of $50, of course. Not American, sorry. Can you tell by the hat? Um, so hopefully we'll see you guys on there and Honestly, don't feel bad about reaching out. I'm here to help and just want you guys to be on the hive so you can all earn for their for your content that you're creating because why are we making social media rich off of advertising to us, selling us data? Uh, just remember, when products are free and there's no form of creation of value like in crypto, you are the product. So that's why we're on the hive. We'll hopefully see you guys all there. Peace out and take care.